Welcome back to Town Talk, everybody. What's up? Yeah. What's good? What's good. What's good? What's good? You know how we come in every every other week. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all missed our voice, it's okay. It's okay. all good. Just got to wait two weeks. Sorry. That's it. Not really sorry. <laughs> Facts. This should have been lit. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all already know what it is. This is the Town Talk pod. I'm JP. And I'm Rez. Yes, you already sir. know what's up. For our new viewers, you feel me? Every two weeks we drop, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know what we talk about. It's music, bro. Facts. Every, every fucking, every two weeks. New shit drops every two weeks. Every week, actually. Every, uh, yeah, new shit drops every week, but we drop every other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. And we drop on our platforms consistently. But yeah, um, welcome to the Town Talk Podcast. Here we're going to talk about some new music, the culture around new music, and just yes, like sir. what we've been up to and what's been hitting the streets, shit like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you been up to past week, bro? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I just just been chilling, bro. Honestly, like you know, being in a relationship now, like I be going out on dates and shit like that. But like, I really just be watching TV, going to the movies, shit like I didn't do before. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I was just like in the crib by myself, whatever, doing whatever I was doing before. But now I'm like going out on dates, trying out new food, and trying to make sure I still don't get fat. Um, in the gym. Shit like that. Uh, what I do that was cool. Um, went to the movies and I seen Ninja Turtles. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, that new Ninja Turtle movies was fire. Yeah, I saw a clip of them. They were like, "Yeah, oh, let me get a bacon egg and cheese." Yeah, Aki way. Now, was- yeah, Ninja Turtles was fire. I'm glad they casted a bunch of teenagers. Um, Ice Cube was great as the villain. He was like the voice of the villain. Um, Jackie Chan was the father, the voice of the father. So, Master Splinter. Yeah, it was top tier. Mm. Great, great cast. That's fire. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I didn't really do anything. I went. Did I go out this weekend? I, I did. didn't even really ask you to be honest. But I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. What'd you, I'm just, <laughs> what'd you I'm do? Just go into what I did because you know you talked about what you did already. We did go out this weekend. We went for out for George's birthday this weekend. Shout out George. Oh yeah, I forgot about this weekend. I was trying to backtrack a few weekends ago, but yeah. Yeah. This weekend we went out to that uh Papa Zoo Name place. Dropping. You don't you don't ever Sorry, stop. bro. My my our boy. <laughs> it was our boy's birthday. Shout out to George. Shout out to George. Happy birthday. Um Horg. Yeah, happy birthday, Horg. Um yeah, we went to the city. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? You got dumb lit. Um and I saw Barbie. Oh yeah, I haven't seen Barbie. I'm seeing Barbie tomorrow. Yeah, so don't ruin anything. No, nah, I want to. It was, it was cool. good. It was cool. It was a good movie. Yeah, Manny loved it. Yeah, since we name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was dope. It was dope as hell, bro. Okay, okay. You said cool. Hell. You said it was good. So I wanted to like. Nah, you know, I really, I really liked it. No, you really liked it. That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. It got a billion dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. That budget <laughs> for that movie was like 150 million. Bro, they are. Going crazy right now, all over, everywhere. They're up, I think Margot Robbie has has gotten like fifty mil, like just from like the just movie, just like like for now, I guess. Oh, I don't know how any of like those a salary. contracts work. I mean, neither. But fifty mil and that movie made over a billion is crazy. I don't know. By the way, pay the actors and yes. the writers and yes, everything like the strikes that are going on. We fully support that. Yes, we fully support all that shit. They need to be paid for like for everything they do. If I'm streaming a Netflix series and it was written by somebody, they should be getting paid for that because mm-hmm. they help curate this entire show. Yeah, the fact that they're not getting paid livable wages for these popular shows is crazy. They didn't have a contract for like the streaming ages, and I they basically just want an updated contract and you know. Better incentives, better like better pay, but just they need things to be updated, and they're not asking for much. It's the problem is that they don't want to be, they don't want to give it to them. The other people don't want to give it to them. When you don't want to give it to them, now now it's gonna be a fight. Yeah, but yeah. Shout out to um, Paul Rudd. He was out there on the lines. Adam Sandler was on the lines, out there. You know, picket. Yeah, the lines. yeah. They, they were striking. That's fire. We need more actors doing that. I saw uh, Francia Reisa was out there too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that shit is dope. That shit is dope. That was that was a that was a big name for you, Billy. Francia Reisa? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, come on. I have to get that shit right. Yeah, the on the first try too. No double take. 
Yeah, bro. I would have butchered that shit. I'd be reading her name on IG like France. What? Francia Raisa. <laughs> Come on. How am I your father? It's because you love her. Tap bro. in. Yo, <laughs> yo. Chill, bro. Chill. I just like her character. Yeah, nah. She's she's dope. How much father? I need to catch up on that. Slacking. Uh yeah, that's really it. That's really all I did. Um won my softball championship. I think I came back and I think I already told him that, but I don't remember. That you didn't say nothing about that. That's huge. Yeah. Well I'm saying last week I, La- oh, last I told week you him, said like, you Yo, had I'm the gonna championship. come back, I'm yeah. gonna be a champion. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a champion. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's three. go. Come on. Y'all know my boy's a champion now. Let's go. Three P, three P. Shout out to Hobra. We just had our, our dinner today. Um so we recording a late episode of the pod. But yeah. I was gonna come with my full gear, like wear and shit. I was like, nah. I should have. I thought she's, you was when I got a, here. She's a jersey. Like, I'm back so whatever. I've been like, yo. If I had the trophy though, that should have been sitting right here next to me. <laughs> Where did you put trophy at? I it stays at Hobra. They, oh, got, okay. they got all three of them. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. We need MVP awards and shit. Or like a medal or something. Like y'all just won the championship. It was like, yo, we got the gold trophy. Now we get to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> they sponsored us. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's that's really it, man. Uh, just you know, been in the beginning stages of relationship and shit like that. So just been been wrapped up in that. Mm. Oh, last weekend I went out with my cousins. It was dope. Facts. Yeah, I haven't seen them in years. Shout out, shout out, Olya. Shout out, Kaylee. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot everybody else. Wow. Uh, Dominic. Name drop. Go ahead. Jarrell. <laughs> Kim. Come on. <laughs> Not you forgetting the names of your family. Nah, I just forgot who was nah, there. On the spot is is a little hard. It's a little hard. hard. I just forgot who was there. Yeah. Uh, shout out to your pops. Shout out to the Billy Jack Experience. We haven't shouted him out in a while. So. Oh yeah, my son is up. Yeah. Seeing. Check out that page. Word. He going crazy. He's going stupid right yeah. now. All those all those videos of food. Them shits taste just as good as they look. Swear to God, I can confirm. Facts. You know what I'm saying. First shout hand. out to you, pops. Um, but yeah, we had, um, besides all that, bro, we had a lot of music that came out this week too. Yeah. Last week, this week, you know what I'm saying? We had some things not really stuck like too crazy. Um, what was your favorite? Like what was the highlight of the music in the past two weeks for you? Um, one song that was really a highlight for me was that new Corday song, make up your mind. No, that, that shit, shit was that shit kind of tough. That's like that is, funky, bro. Yo. I was like, yo. He got into his little like, it was a different bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More melodic than anything. Mm-hmm. But he was still, he was still barring up on it. You feel me? It was dope. It was dope as hell. Yeah, it's very like anime-esque. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. Amine? What's this the guy's name? Uh, Amine, yeah. Yeah, my bad. Um, Yeah, Amine-esque in uh, Keitronada type. Like, you know what I mean? Some, something that would have been like that type of vibe. Like Anderson like, Pac. Anderson Pac. Definitely yeah. super innocent Pac vibe. Um, I was getting the Quintanada, uh Amine uh, collab project. Album. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was getting from it. Yeah, I can see that. But it was it was dope. I mean, I'm I'm so happy that Corday is just like continuously putting out really good music, mm-hmm. and it just it sounds good. It doesn't only sound good. I'm trying to figure out like a better word. Like he's not doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Refreshing. It's refreshing, it's, but it's been done. It's, but he's not doing the same thing that everyone in his class is doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a very old school kind of person. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. But it's dope that he's just, he's almost versatile. You know what I'm saying? Like he could. I mean, he's pretty versatile. When yeah. We saw him in concert. Like he was singing and stuff. Like Cordae's a vibe. Yeah, definitely. He's got the stage presence and everything. Like he just needs to continue with the, with the work ethic. I know obviously he has a baby on the way and shit like that. Like. When he really dives in and he starts putting out a bunch of stuff, features, and gets these big names, if that's what he wants to do, he could be that star. That yeah, big, definitely. That big star. If he keeps doing, like like you said, keeps doing what he's mm-hmm. doing now and just tapping into different bags, like then he could definitely do that. Yeah. But he just can't stay in that one lane. He has to like do different shit. That's why I like when he went with that Make Up Your Mind joint. Yeah. Because that's tapping into a whole other audience. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was dope. Yeah. Um, that kind of feel good tracks. Oh, my bad. What are we can do? My no, bad. no, you're good. Good, good. Oh. I feel bad. I cut you off. Good. Oh, all right. Um, I was gonna say that and that new Doja track 
um, uh, Paint Town Red, fire. Bro, Doja Cat? Do- yo. I don't care what anybody talk about. That girl can make music. That Yo, she is so talented, bro. Like, it's just, it's like, it's almost effortless. Like, the way she just floats on tracks is insane. And her visuals are top tier, bro. Top tier, bro. Top tier. She really be using that, like, whole devil thing to her advantage. Like, mm-hmm. people want to call her shit, whatever. She's like, I right, bet I'm going to make a song and I'm going to be the devil in it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm exactly. going to have the devil in it. She's very much a troll, like Little Nas. 100%. Ex, like, you know. if you really think that she's really, like, Oh, like this person, like that type of person, mm-hmm. you're dumb. Like she's exactly. doing that for publicity. She's doing it for a clout. Like she's she just playing up. off of what she blew up off of. Bitch, I'm a cow. Yeah, like she's just a I troll. Go moo, like what? <laughs> yeah, I know she's getting a lot of heat because of what she said about her fans or whatever. But what she called them. She called them some crazy. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. She said because I forgot what they were called. They were calling themselves something, and she was like kitties or some shit like that. Said, yeah, and she's just like. No, like she called them pussies. I think, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Some <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said something. Which, listen, if they're your fans, bro, like you can't just do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning it. Me, you can, but like, uh, don't expect them to be on some like, oh my god, Doja Cat. We're so sorry. We're not gonna do that. Like, no. Like, there, there's pages that like dedicate themselves to your image, your music, and who you are, and you're just basically on some like, yo, fuck you. Like of course they're gonna be tight, and I heard I heard they were getting interviewed by like CNN, like the pages and shit like that, or not CNN, but some news outlet. Let me tell you, crazy. Keep doing what you're doing, Doja. I don't give a fuck about all that other shit. Music, yes. Keep doing what you're doing. You are killing the game. Pay the time, red is crazy. Mm, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. That shit is hard. That shit is hard, bro. I don't care what nobody says. I'm on Yo. your side, bro. That shit is tough. And I'm hearing that's like one of her biggest songs now. Oh, word! Like it's going up and yeah, and stuff like that. It's too. going up, yeah. You know, I don't. You know me. Like I don't care about charting shit no more. Like I know I should come here and talk about numbers and all that stuff. But that's AJ's spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I care about what's good in my phone and what I see, like you know, popping up on the timeline. And I just see a lot of hate for Doja, but yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's just because of what she said. But mm. that song, that yeah. song is hard. Oh man, you know what song I really tapped into and I was really excited for. Was that new Usher song Good Good With Summer yeah. Walker And 21 Savage mm-hmm. I was so excited for it I was like yo Usher's back Like it's lit um, And then I played it And I was like Okay it's a little A little underwhelming For for an Usher track For it to be your first track Before you know um, Or your first track In a long time Period I was like damn uh, This is a little underwhelming The one before that Was Glue Which was a very high pitched Different type of song Good, good is more like feel good. You know what I mean? Kind of like talking about your ex, but like we still on good terms. That's yeah. Like, we ain't good, good, but we still good. Like, okay, I get it. Um, I was expecting just more. And Summer Walker did great. You already know how I feel about Summer Walker. Um, And then 21 Savage was like at the very ending where it kind of sounded like a whole new song just mm-hmm. to put him on. Yeah, it's weird. I just we need to come to terms with the fact that Twenty One Savage does not need to be on every song. I don't want him to turn into another like almost Future when Future was on a lot of songs in like the 2015, 2017 era, but he didn't need to be. I mean, Twenty One do be body and Future. Yeah, for though. sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But like that song specifically, like nah. I mean, he did really good on Drake's uh, collab project. Yeah, he did. And he did really good on Metro Boomin's album. Yeah, and he did pretty well on on, uh, Utopia. I loved him on Utopia. I don't care what anyone says. But 21 is not bad at all. And I just definitely think he doesn't fit every single song. But, like, I'm not mad at... At it Like it's not like I'm like oh Why were you here You ruined the song Like the song was just Already mid Like it was already like Eh So to have him at the end It was like okay Like now I'm really not Gonna listen to it no more Yeah he, I just I just don't Think he should've been On that song I, I probably would listen To that song more If he wasn't on that song Yeah I think it should've Been shorter Period yeah. Like it definitely Should've been shorter But um The hook is catchy We ain't good good But we still good Yeah that shit's fire That shit's fire 
but he has a new song coming out. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Boyfriend. So Usher, we already know he dropped his music here and there. We already spoke about glue. We spoke about good good. And now he says he's coming out with the song Boyfriend. Who's the front page of that? Kiki Palmer. Oh, what a coincidence. Kiki Palmer <laughs> is the is on the cover of the single. And she's in the music video. And they promoted it with just her face. And the first line you hear is, I heard your boyfriend looking for me. <laughs> Y'all already know what happened with Kiki and her mans. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Usher, you're like 46, bro. Like, yeah. what are you doing? I, I, bro, my mans is at the crib right now just... Teary eyes, like literally in front of the in front of the the screen, just looking at it, like, like damn, I was right, damn, like that's so crazy, like. And I'd be tight though if I was him for real because they're making a bag off him right now. They're about to have a video. The song's probably gonna go crazy because I'm not gonna lie to you, this that five seconds sounded way better than good, good. <laughs> yeah, the beat and everything. Um, and if Kiki Palmer is actually featured on it, because she's really good at singing. That'd be um, crazy. That'd be even crazier. That'd be crazy. Oh man, listen, you should have just said nothing, bro. <laughs> you should have just, you should have just said nothing. You should have been talking shit. Should have been talking shit. <laughs> you should have been talking shit. <laughs> now nah, look, that was bro. a good one. Now look, damn. I mean, shout out Kiki Palmer. She she's doing her thing for real. <laughs> I do not know that man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> it's over. That's it. Yo, Kiki Palmer. I'm with you. You was on the Terrell show. You was killing it. I'm with her. Wanted. Stay with the women. Wanted. Listen. Like I said, you should have been talking shit. That's it. Should have been talking shit. <laughs> should have been talking shit. Like, you should have just kept your mouth shut, bro. It's Usher. Who cares? <laughs> Cat Williams was, is a great fucking comedian. Yeah. It's too bad he's like a crackhead. And crazy. There's that. It's usually what happens. <laughs> Speaking of comedians, I think Dave Chappelle's uh, part on Utopia gets overlooked. Oh, for sure. He was really, really good in there. And then kind of like Morgan Freeman kind of vibe. Where he's just talking, kind of narrating or speaking through something, um, like like Wale has with like Seinfeld and stuff like that. Oh yeah, 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 projects on album on thing. Yeah, I was I was bumping it and I was like, oh wow, this vibe. His his voice is calming. So, yeah, shout out to Travis Scott. Good uh, good call adding him there. Dave Chappelle doesn't get you know many of those kind of placements. Yeah, for sure. Like the way Chris Rock went on. Kanye West's song "Blame Game," yeah, and um, and Jim Carrey on the weekends album, exactly. So we need more of that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the weekend, uh, the weekend is coming out with one more single, then he's done. He's done with the weekend. He's done with the weekend. Yeah, sorry, he's <laughs> gonna be able. Don't scare people now. He's gonna really. be able from now on. Is he gonna be able to make fucking good music? <laughs> Is that a question? You talking about my goat? My goat? Come on. I mean, all right, so I'm not going to lie to you. The, all those songs from that fucking show. The Idol. The Idol were pretty good. Yeah. They were not bad. And The weekend went crazy on Travis Scott's album. Yeah. Circus Maximus is fire. OD fire. And K-pop, too, is good. Like, The weekend's part is great. So if this is where he's stepping into, because clearly he's in that bag already, but he's still just like slowly retiring the weekend. I'm ready for the, this type of music from him. Yeah. As opposed to everything he's given us prior to cutting his hair. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, I, I agree. I know I said popular wasn't good. I fucking lied. <laughs> that, that shit is such a vibe. And if we get more of that, I'd be hype. I'd be hype. Just, you know, minus minus Playboy Cardi. If if he's if he's not doing the deep voice thing, if he's doing the deep voice thing, then go ahead, do your thing. But hey, man, Playboy might just be a vibe nowadays. Right. I mean, now for us, 
Next thing you're going to tell me Yeet is good. I mean, situational. Like, I'll bump Yeet at the gym. Yeah. Yeah. He has a couple of hard songs with, with Uzi. He's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad for the situation that you're in. Like, if I'm in the car speeding with our boy Leo, like. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's going to play Yeet. <laughs> and I'm going to bump the shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm 100% going to bump it. Was the, what was he doing the whole time he was in Dreamville Fest? <laughs> Fucking Yeet. Bumping Yeet. Yeah. That shit hit though Cause we were We were lit <laughs> Y'all were lit It was just Little vibes Like good times uh, yeah, yeah 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 My bad my bad Sorry With the guys okay. yeah, Chilling yeah, yeah. Popping. No, Nothing Nothing else you know <laughs> I think you say y'all were lit Damn Billy You stayed name dropping I said dropping. First of all I didn't say I didn't say with our boy Leo You said, I said that it because I knew you were gonna say it I, I was, was gonna, gonna say like, our, yeah, boy. our boy You were gonna be like Oh yeah Leo Oh no I was gonna say our boy <laughs> I, I need to stop name dropping So I was gonna say our boy That's it Facts bro We're gonna get these people indicted on, I'm saying Rico charges and shit You are <laughs> <laughs> You're walling um, yeah. But yeah Speaking of the uh, Circus Maximus though Travis performed In Rome Last week That shit was dope Bro For that to be his first performance From Astroworld To do another Huge performance That was risky Oh for sure It was risky I'm sure I'm sure he had the right Thing set in place though Like the right amount of security The right amount of space mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying So I'm sure It looked like From the stream It looked like It was heavily guarded and everybody had enough space and they had enough, like, things around them. You know what I'm saying? Got so, you, yeah. It wasn't too open where it was moshing. They looked like there was just barriers and things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the front looked a little bit more crowded because, you know, Travis is there. But it looked like people had enough space to, like, move back if they wanted to or go somewhere else. It was a really big, uh, mm-hmm. like, space. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was dope. It was dope as hell. Yo, know, Travis, Travis's visuals are always, like, on point. His vision is just... Always cr- so crazy. Like artistically, he's he's one of the best artists like of our time. Like he he really always delivers something different. He's not he doesn't stay the same. He's not afraid to change. He always brings something new when it comes to visuals. Like when I went to his concert in 2018, he had a roller coaster, yeah, and a fucking astronaut mm-hmm. on stage, like. Travis Scott is king visuals, king vibe. Like when you go to Travis Scott show, you're gonna have fun. Mm. You're gonna get a performance. Like, For sure. It was great. Yeah. Um But yeah, that was really risky of him to have, you know, his first big concert, his first concert since coming back from Astro World and it to be that big, that televised and everything, like it could have all went wrong. And he took that risk. And like you said, I'm sure he had everything really guarded, but it's a risk nonetheless And he pulled it off He pulled it off Beautifully Bro not only did he pull it off Like he was in, I mean he he did amazing Yeah The reaction in Rome Is crazy Bro 60,000 people were there That shit is nuts Like nuts Bro that is international Literally international Like it's just 60,000 people in Rome bro and People can't even do that in the states that are big. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like that shit makes no sense. You and think Travis Scott is the biggest artist of our generation. Is, no, well, not our generation of this generation. This generation, um, like that started because he came up around like what 20, 2013? 13, 14. Um, he's one of I would say one of who can do a sixty thousand show that's not Drake Cole the weekend. Nobody. Really nobody. I don't even think Cole could do it. Six, uh, 60,000? How many people were at Dream of Us? Uh, it's a little different. I'm definitely not 60,000. It was, it was like 50. Right. It was like right. 50. Yeah. And that was that was the night that J. Cole performed. So. You're right. He could do like 50, 60. I think Dream Bill's a little fest a little different because there's so many people. There's so many people there for sure, for sure. But so like you get people from all things, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm talking about like just like a headline stadium kind of tour. Well, head, yeah, headline stadium. I think he could pull off 60. I don't know if he could do it internationally though. Yeah, yeah. Rome is a little. Rome, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying Travis Scott's built different. Yeah. But sorry, you were saying something before I um, tap back into that. No, nah, I was just saying Travis Scott's performance was fucking nuts. And on top of all that, he brought out Kanye. 
Kanye fucking West. He brought out Kanye and that he performed. I think can't praise tell me God. nothing. Was it praise God? Oh, I thought did um, yeah, yeah. I believe they performed the devil my op. Yeah, yeah they, they they did they performed they performed that together. Yeah, and that was what he came out to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came out to that, and then he did can't tell me nothing after that. Yeah, which I didn't like. I was like, why would you come out to a Travis Scott song when you are one of the you are a bigger artist than Travis Scott and. We haven't heard you at all. Why wouldn't you come out to like some shit like, um, power? Or yeah, like, can't tell me nothing. I feel like it wasn't planned. Yeah, you feel like it was just last minute. Last minute. He was already in Rome with his with his wife, so mm-hmm. I feel like you don't think he was there for that. I don't know. A little bit there on vacation. Got you. So I it's think also Kanye West and got tons of money and can fly it. He definitely can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. But yeah, so I'm just saying like he should have came out to Can't Tell Me Nothing, especially because Travis Scott did like a whole speech. Like, this is the one person who stood beside me, da da da, all did all this, whatever, as he was introducing him. Yeah. And like the camera was slowly like panning up, like it had it just on, on uh, Ye's his chest. Chain. Yeah. His, his chain, the Jesus piece. Mm-hmm. Come out to Jesus Walks. Like, yeah. what are you doing? I don't know. But. They ripped that fucking stage. I didn't realize how good Praise God was. Yeah. <laughs> until that shit came out. Fucking, they went nuts, bro. I was like, yo, Travis Scott really bodied this song. And because Donda came out so fucking late on streaming services and it was viewed like 3,000 times, like people just forgot about this song almost. People forgot about the whole album, bro, if we're being honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then Travis was at, at the end of it. Travis was like Kanye's greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? He was bigging him up. Od, he was like, "I'm nothing without Kanye. Rome is nothing without Kanye." And I was just like, "Yo, that's crazy." I mean, he's not lying though. He's not lying for sure. Yeah, without Kanye West, there is no Travis Scott. Yeah, one thousand percent. You know, Travis Scott influenced a lot of uh, Yeezus. With you know his vibe and his production and things like that that he worked on, and people saying Utopia sounds like Jesus, but it it's just it's just different because Kanye's touch is so different than anyone else's. Like although Travis Scott helped with Jesus, Kanye West made it what it was. Yeah, I mean you could argue Jesus versus Utopia and say which one is better, right? Whatever, and you can compare that. Kanye West's vision. And the way he goes through with things almost always is like perfect. Yeah, Kanye Kanye's a perfectionist. He has the most classic albums of any artist. Remember when Life Pablo dropped and he dropped it on title and it and then he dropped it on every other stream platform and it sounded completely different? Yes. And added a song. Added a song, took out verses. Yeah. He created that. That that vibe that people do now where they're like, oh, I'm going to change this or, oh, this didn't get cleared so they mm-hmm. can change things. Like Kanye did that. He's a trendsetter. He's a trendsetter. He's a visionary, a perfectionist, a fucking genius. Like I, I will big up Kanye nine times out of 10. I'm not, I'm not with you on the other thing. My brother, you know saying? No, nah, yeah. He's on my, <laughs> he definitely be walling. <laughs> he definitely be walling. But like as, as an artist, as a visionary, as a creative, there's nobody that does it like Kanye. Kanye is one of a kind, generational talent. Like he will never be replicated. Never, ever, ever. Like you cannot do what he's done for the culture, for music. Like he's just him. Facts. If he did it all on his own without like any writers and like didn't bring everybody together, you don't know what it would sound like. But I think more people would call him like the greatest of all time because he could he could rap at a high level. You know what I mean? And he can yeah. he can do these things that Drake, Cole. Nas, Jay Z, those kind of like you know those those likes of people do. Um, artistically though, that's that's the greatest of all time. Yeah, he just he's just him, glazing crazy, but you know, I mean, well deserved, well deserved, care. sloppy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, he's he he's he's getting it. Like he he did he deserves it. Yeah, he does he deserves it. Yeah, yo. Kanye West, he's on my wall three times on there. Once oh, yeah. over there. And well, it used to be a bunch more times. I used to have the shirt and everything, but 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life. Life. <laughs> Life for sure. Anyways. Oh, he's over here too. I forgot about that. Oh, Shout yeah. out to AJ. Yeah, man. Um, Speaking of Kanye West, though, it's reported that he's going to drop an album. Yeah, I've been hearing that too. I- We've been calling him Kanye West. He goes by Ye now. So yeah. I apologize, Ye. Sorry, Ye. I'm saying we use your wrong government. That's what, right. we, that's what we do. That's what we do. Man's wanted to be Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy, Puff Daddy. Niggas really have people call him Daddy? Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. Um, wasn't there another name for him? There was. I don't remember it. I don't remember it either. It's for old heads. Um, yeah. Ye is dropping a new album, supposedly. Do we want another Ye album? Um, Absolutely. We just spoke about how Kanye is the greatest artist of all time. Yes, I want another Ye album for sure. I don't want it to be as forgettable as Donda was, though. I think Donda was forgettable because of what he did to it. I think he created a forgettable experience because so people were so hyped in the moment that it was super underwhelming when it dropped. And there was so many different versions that we already heard. I guess I think yeah. we should have only heard one version. Like I understand putting it out if it was already out and we heard it, but the fact that we went and we streamed it and we got excited about all these features that were on it and all every, the way it sounded, for it, them to then give us or for him to give us what he gave us, it was like, oh man, like this isn't what I wanted. But if you revisit Donda today, there's some fucking bangers on there. Oh, like, for sure, Junior. Um, Moon, Moon, Hurricane, Hurricane. Um, Believe what I say. Um, the one with Jay Z. What's it called? Um, jail. jail. Jail's not jail. not one of those. Uh, jail is good. I off like the jail. grid. Off the grid. Yeah. Fucking Favi's verse was crazy. Yeah, that song is just too long. Okay, okay. Yeah. With little Yachty. Yeah, there there's some great songs on that album for sure. It, it wasn't just, forgettable. It just did, it didn't. It got pinned up against Drake. Who is the big, biggest artist Even though Kanye is huge At this moment right in time right now Like Drake is the biggest artist They got pinned up against CLB um, And I think that's what diminished his light And then after that They did that whole like uh, Thing where they made up on stage And they had a concert with each other For Larry Hoover Yeah Larry, that was far Which I think diminished Donda as well Because now it's like These shots that you both took each other On each other's albums Like don't hit the same so you came back together, and I just think it the the whole anti-Semitic things that he did d- didn't allow people to continue to listen to Donda and really support it, even though it came out the anti-Semitic things were so much after Donda. I it just was think that so pe- much after. I just yeah. think that people didn't revisit it because of that. They didn't talk about it. Like Kanye was, he puts himself in such a negative way in the media that people weren't willing to be super open about Donda. I you mean, know. I guess, but but like from as, the as it aged, from the um, from the jump, right? Donna was. I feel like Donna was doing a lot better than CLB was. I feel like people were tuning in Donna a lot more, mm-hmm. as far as like media and stuff like that goes. I loved it. I I loved it too. Like I'm not saying Donna's a bad album. I'm just no. saying like I don't think it aged well. It did, definitely didn't age well think it will though like i think when you go back like it is quality music yay's verses some of them were like okay like mm, i don't care for this that much but the other people that performed on the album were definitely really good then and, is it really like that's that's what i, I, I don't want about that the life of pablo i don't want that kanye kanye bodied the life of pablo right but everybody else did really good too i i yeah but kanye was also he has some standout verses on life of pablo as well and and he has a lot of standout verses on donda it's just 24 Not, fucking songs might just be like all right you know yeah that's a that's a long fucking it's a project. lot it's a lot i just don't think i don't think it like, like i don't want i don't want another donda like i, I want something like old Kanye. I don't want another Donda either. Um, because I think that the way he he did the album was was fucked up. Like for his fans and just for his discography. Like you gave us five different versions of this fucking shit. We heard it unfinished and then we watched you finish it. And like I understand letting people into your creative process. But it's only like there's only so much you can do. You know what I mean? I mean, bro, people were eating it up at the time, bro. He sold out the stadium three fucking times for an unfinished album. Yeah, because album. they wanted to see it. No, yeah, but for they sure. they didn't really receive what was happening. Or they received it, and then they were upset 
that what they got wasn't what they received at the concert. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. I get it. I'm just saying, like, at the, t- at the time, like, people were like, oh, yeah, he's, he's selling out stadiums for an unfinished album. Like, that's crazy. No one does that. But, like I said, I just, I don't want another Donda, bro. I, I, I'm kind of just over the gospel shit, too. Like, I just, I mm. like, no, no disrespect, like, of course it's not. All right. Like I just right. you I want a cup of tea. I want I want old Kanye. Like I want him to go back and and rap real shit. Like I want curses. I Donna miss, had no curses. Give me curses. I miss Come the on, old Kanye. Come I on, miss man. Old Kanye blocking out the curses and shit, bro. Come on with that, man. Like I want I want you to just I want you to really rap. I want you to give us quality music, bro. Yeah, that's not forgettable. Well, this will be his first album without Kim. Um, since what? Since Life of Pablo? No. So before that was he wasn't with Kim. No, he was. He's Life been of Pablo with, was the first one. That he been was with Kim, Kim. since thir- twenty thirteen. So Jesus, Jesus was okay. he was with Kim. So Jesus, he was with Kim. What came after that? Life Pablo. Life Pablo. Yeah. So this okay. is my first album since so, maybe my beautiful doctors of fantasy. Yeah. Which or makes sense. or um, uh, if you want to count um. The one with Jay Z. God damn it. Why am I drawing? Oh, the Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne, yeah. Yeah, Watch the Throne. I mean, some of the best Kanye verses ever. Yeah. Pff, pff, come on. But yeah, maybe since Watch the Throne. So, in history, we'll show you that Kanye performs very well after breakups. <laughs> he makes really good music mm-hmm. when he's in those spaces. Not that he didn't make good music in between there because he still made great music. But. I think when he's in a state that um, he feels pressured, um, you know, that he has to perform, he always comes through. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, Kanye. <laughs> I miss the old Kanye. What's up? Come on. Come on. Do what Drake's did doing, bro. Drake is, he's like, for all the dogs, it's going to be like old Drake, apparently. Facts. So... And we'll have to do, I can do an episode on that whenever he decides to drop. Apparently, he has a locked in date, so hopefully soon. Facts. Yo, have you ever heard of the Bluetooth yawn? Bluetooth? No. Yawn? Bro, you yawned like five minutes ago, and that shit hit me. And I, I literally tried to hold it like as hard as I can. But like, if you see somebody yawn, right, then you'll probably yawn too. Oh, like yawns being contagious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard anyone call it a Bluetooth yawn, <sighs> but I've heard yeah. people say that yawning is contagious. I've witnessed yeah. it Bluetooth and I've yawn, experienced it. Like you can, I can connect it to you. I I understand it. Yeah, I just I never heard anyone say that. Don't make me feel stupid. I'm not making you feel stupid. I'm just that's interesting. That's mm. cool. Like I never heard anyone say that before. Why didn't you yawn? I yawned because I yawned already. Oh yeah, you gave it to me. Yeah, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. That's getting clipped. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a fucking guy. But yeah, enough about Ye. Um we want the album. I think that everybody would appreciate new music when when Kanye's missing from music, it's definitely known and felt. Um, yeah, especially in hip hop now, bro. I feel like hip hop's been mad stale. B- before Utopia, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Utopia is like a almost like a breath of fresh air. I mean, it's still in rotation for me, man, and and all other projects, hip hop projects that uh, have come out during this year, have pretty much been out of rotation for me, with the exception of like Gunna. Yeah, even Young Thug I haven't been bumping. Drake was the highlight of that fucking album with um, Oh You Went. Yeah, that for sure was top tier. And I hate, you know, continuously putting Drake on that pedestal there. It's like, he did this, he did this, but... He, he just continuously kills shit and just, and just like, yo, how do you just... How can you hate that man? Like, he just keeps doing it, bro. <laughs> he keeps putting himself in that in that spotlight with, with his quality of music. It's just there. That's all Kim was at his show the other night. Yeah, everybody wants to make a fucking big deal about Kim Kardashian attending a Drake show. Like, he's the biggest artist in the fucking world. Tristan Thompson was right there next to Kim. Yeah, Bad Bunny was there with Kendall. Clearly, 
They went down into the general admission area too, which is crazy. Listen, man, you gotta live life on the edge. No, for sure. I wish I was there. I'd have been like, "Yo, Benito, Benito, <laughs> soy Boricua." <laughs> <laughs> My boy been practicing his Spanish, so he's trying to show it off this episode. Low key, low key. <laughs> I had um, some. I had uh, when I went to the city the other night. I was speaking Spanish to the guys there, kind of. You went to the city when? Um, Saturday night. Oh, oh was, was, was 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 yeah, yeah. It wasn't there though. We went to the taco spot. Remember, I was like, oh, oh. taco spot around the corner. Yeah, you we went had, there. It was we good. went. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm. Interesting. We got Wendy's. Whack. Um, damn, I lost my train of thought. Oh, we were speaking about we were speaking about albums. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Um, enough about Kanye. We talked about Kanye a lot. Um, you know that we had a lot of albums that dropped this year that were really fire. I wanted to know what was your favorite album from this year so far. I think I'm gonna hit you with two, right? And they might be basic, but it's alright. My favorite R&B album was Never Enough by Daniel Caesar. I think that got overlooked a little bit because he dropped a phenomenal project, in my opinion. Um, and then I'm going to have to go Utopia, bro. I'm going to have to go Utopia for my favorite rap album. like That or The Estate Sale, Tyler the Creator, which was just added on songs, but those songs were phenomenal. Mm. I see that. Okay. Um, for me, damn, uh, do, am I gonna have to give it to you now? Shit. Uh, definitely black since I have a lover. Yeah, since I have a lover, it kind of like made like no noise. It did in the beginning, and then it kind of just dwindled, dwindled, yeah. which is crazy because that's probably some of Black's best music, bro. Like mm. some of his best verses are on that album, which is ridiculous that people keep overlooking it. You overlooked it. I, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't, but that's don't because no, 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 no. That's because we did the live listen. We did the live listen. Yeah. So I feel like since we did the live listen, it, I like it really didn't hit that much for mm-hmm. me because I was so focused on like critiquing every song and listening that I wasn't really like just listening to enjoy the music. Mm-hmm. So after I went back and listened, I was like, oh wait, I'm bugging. Gotcha. Like this shit is fire. So since I have a lover, and since I have a lover, and I'm gonna go with gift and a curse. Gonna got you. Yeah, I know. I was saying Young Thug's album's better. I would have signed a third, but yeah, sorry, Thug. Gonna got it. Sorry, right. gonna got it. Yeah, just you know what I mean. Listen, he went out there and he put in the work and he put out a better project. Obviously, than somebody who's behind bars, so can't really say that he had a fair advantage. But again, gonna had no support from the industry and did it all himself. Zero yeah. features. Zero features. Nothing. Producers not wanting to work with him, shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? And Young Thug had features like Drake. Um, yeah. Who was who else was on him? Uh, Literally everyone. The Avengers were on there. Literally, mm-hmm. he had. I'm um, pretty sure Little Baby's on it. Like he had a lot of people on that album, bro. And Gunna's album was still better. Yeah, I think uh, Gunna's album was honestly. Close to contender for rap album of the year, but um, I'm gonna go Utopia. Like I said, we could That's go Jack Man. <laughs> yeah, Jack Harlow dropped the project. I mean, it was cool, yeah. but nah. ESTG dropped the project. Mad. Yeah, that was tough. There was some good songs on there. Um, I'm gonna go honorable mention. You can go R and B or hip hop, whatever you want to do, bro. Scissor. Oh, Scissor. Scissor dropped at the end of the year. And that album was heavy in rotation all throughout until maybe, maybe until Daniel Caesar dropped his album. To that be honest, was still in rotation for me. I mean, I it's still, still in rotation. I still bump it from time to time. Yeah, that shit go crazy. Snooze. Woo. Yeah, Snooze is still on the charts though. Like that's her number one song. Snooze, but I'm not even talking about Snooze, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, hit me with some more, Bill. Um, damn, on the spot, crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Snooze is the only song you play. Uh, Love language. There you go. Love language is is up there. Um, uh, nobody gets me. Nobody gets me. I fucked with that song too. I mean, I fucked with the whole album, like I said. So, 
But um, waiting to see uh, if ASAP delivers five years later. You know what I'm saying? The way SZA delivered and everybody else. We got that new ASAP Rocky album coming out. Yeah, new ASAP Rocky album, Jid with uh, Metro Boomin. Quavo. Quavo. Oh, yeah, he just, Rocket Power, Just he just showed off the uh, cover art for that, too. Mm-hmm. Friday drops his debut album. Yeah. On Friday. On Friday. <laughs> Not Friday. Next, it's next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys still got a bunch of albums that are dropping. Yeah. But, yeah, so, so, you know, that's my, um, those are my picks. You know, hopefully I don't get roasted about fucking loving the damn Caesar album because people were kind of like, eh. Whatever. Who cares? Dame says the album was fire. Yeah. Valentina is a fire song. Homosexual? Homosexual is, is fire. Top tier. Yeah. Come Ty Dolla Sign don't fucking miss, bro. Come on. Ready for the album, bro. Ready. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I feel like he does better on features. <laughs> well, I mean, since we're already speaking about songs. Song suggestion of the week, Billy. I got mine. Um, I'm going to just go Cordae and make up your mind. Make up your mind, yo. That song by Corday was top tier. I'm not gonna lie. That little vibe that he had going on, it's a nice little shake up from him for sure. Yes, sir. We already spoke about that earlier, but just definitely want to give him his flowers for that one. Yeah, shout out Corday. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with album of the year, Utopia. And I'm gonna say Telekinesis is not getting enough oh, love. Telekinesis, yeah. So that's my song suggestion. Oof, that's a good one. That's yeah. a, that's a great one. Yeah, for real, for real. Oh uh, man, SZA, SZA, bro. When SZA came on at the ending, I was like, oh, this is a perfect song. Yeah, and I was like, yo, Future's going crazy. This is nice. You know what I'm saying? Got a little vibe going. And then I heard SZA come on when the beat dropped. I was like, oh. This is perfection. You know what I mean? When SpongeBob's getting lifted up in the air. Yep, that's exactly what happens. That's exactly what it feels like when SZA comes on. It's just like, like, oh man. No, just levitating. Just, just like, levitating. Yo. Her voice is amazing. When she dropped Good Days, bro, I listened to that shit like eight times in a row, bro. Just literally a fucking tear shed down my eye. Yeah. I was like, Good Days. <laughs> Nothing but Good Days. Yeah, bro. She She killed that song. She just has crack in her music and her voice. So yeah, just a little little crack cocaine. Yeah, and that interpolation of of Marvin's room, it's amazing. Hey Amen. They've been doing that with each other for mad long. Yeah, she she borrows from Drake. He borrows from her, and they're cool. Facts. She just went to his show in a disguise. Yeah, <laughs> wore like a fucking little mustache and baseball cap. Yeah, that like, shit was mad funny. Was know who you were? No, I guess, and, and I didn't see no pictures of her. Like and actually, she there. It? So <laughs> she posted it, I think, after. Yeah. Why be in the disguise? <laughs> yeah, because it was probably it was probably after the concert. Oh. I didn't see no pictures of her like actually there. No, those pictures of her she took at the concert, she posted it. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. But anyways. All right, well, that was a song suggestion. I'm mm-hmm. saying that was the vibe that we had this week. Uh hopefully you guys enjoyed being here for another episode of Town Talk Pod. Yes, sir. This is episode fifty three. 53 53 of of season two technically is we actually have like 80 something episodes but when we get to that 100 mark you gotta do something special yo word i'm gonna do a backflip i i don't think you're capable of doing that i got i got 48 episodes or 47 episodes to learn it so this man does not know math how, how many we already have like 80 episodes oh you meant like I thought you meant. Oh, uh, I guess when. We, oh, damn, that's a lot of episodes for you to. I guess you could learn by taking that time. Yeah, I thought you meant 100 episodes in, in season two. Anyways, I'm getting off track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my fault, my fault. So, phone. like we always say, uh, thank you for joining us on this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Listen to us ramble. We've been getting some good feedback lately, so we appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you've been hating on what we say, don't listen. Or listen. No, no, keep listening. Keep listening. Yeah. <laughs> keep listening. Keep hearing my voice. Facts. Um, but y'all already know what it is. Um, Town Talk Pod underscore everywhere. Yes, sir. Instagram, Twitter, uh, threads. Are we on threads? Billy, again with the fucking threads. No, we are not on threads, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. We will not use that app. We will not use that app <laughs> until tomorrow when I make one. 
<laughs> um yeah that sounds about underscore everywhere youtube also youtube has handles too so um and then top talk pod on spotify youtube um apple podcast Podbean, amazon podcast whatever you listen to your podcast at we are there trust me facts and we'll trust have me. uh we might have an interview or two coming in the works so yeah there's people i know people have been asking about interviews they come up, you know what I'm saying? It definitely work in progress. Yeah. Me and Justin been talking about it, so we'll get to it. We'll get to it for sure. Yeah. But like we always say, deuces. deuces.